Hey everyone, Nate Rivers here. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to get more free traffic using long tail keywords. Uh, using long tail traffic or optimizing your content for long tail traffic, long tail keywords, that's one of the most effective long term strategies that you can employ to get free traffic and a lot of it over time, as long as you're consistently publishing content, which you probably are. So, I basically just mentioned this, uh, why long tail keywords? If, if you're consistently publishing new content, and a lot of bloggers, a lot of content marketers out there are, are obviously constantly publishing content, but a lot of them don't do any keyword research. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out on a lot of free traffic uh, for essentially the same amount of work. So you might know what your audience wants um, in the way of content, but it's really helpful to spend a few minutes and to see what exact phrases your customers or your prospects are actually typing into the search engines. So that's why it's really beneficial uh, to do a little bit of keyword research using these keyword tools as you optimize your content. So what I do, what I like to do, and what I recommend that you do is find at least three relevant keyword phrases for every piece of content that you create. That doesn't take much time to do at all. You can do that in five or ten minutes you know, per article or per piece of content, whatever it may be. And over time, this will dramatically increase the amount of free traffic that you get from the search engines versus creating a lot of content but not doing any keyword research at all. Um, now, at the same time, I'm not recommending that all you do is find the three most search phrases based on the topic you're creating content about and include them somewhere in your content. That won't work out too well either. So the big benefit of long tail keywords is that there's uh, you know at least four to five words per keyword phrase. And when you do that, you, you are looking for the exact phrases that people are actually searching for in the search engines. That's why you're doing this. So let me show you what I mean. So the first step is to fire up Longtail Pro or Longtail Platinum. I use the Platinum version. Uh, this is my keyword tool of, of choice because it lets you enter in multiple seed keywords at once and then it will find all the related keywords based around those seed keywords in, in one search. Whereas with something like Market Samurai, you have to do, you can only do one seed keyword at, at a time. And the entire search process is much faster in Longtail Pro anyways. Uh, so being able to do them all at the same time and the fact that just the searching and returning of the keywords is faster by itself, overall doing your keyword research is much, much quicker using Longtail Pro. I mean, that's that's the main reason I switched over and use it now. So step two is to simply set up your campaign. You name your campaign and that's not necessarily the the main keyword your campaign is based off of right there. Then you set your your match type to exact. You always want to be searching or you always want to be looking at exact match search results. Step three you apply your filter. So when I'm looking for long tail keywords, the only filter that I apply is the minimum number of words. And I always set it to at least four. If this is a more competitive topic that just has a lot of, you know, there's already a lot of content, uh, a lot of information products, a lot of books out there about, it's just a huge competitive topic. There's going to be much more keywords out there, uh, for long tail pro to find. So I'll set it to five or six sometimes. Again, this is looking sp specifically for long tail keywords. But at a minimum, you want to set this to four. Set your minimum number of words to four. The more keywords that are in a phrase, the easier it is to rank for. So in step four, you're going to actually enter in your seed keywords. And these are just comma separated. You just enter those in to the box where it says add seed keywords. And again, this is a huge benefit of Longtail Pro. It lets you start with multiple seed keywords. So you can enter in anything that comes to mind related to the topic. In this example, it was green smoothies, so I have 
green smoothie recipes, kale smoothie recipes, healthy smoothie recipes, you know, and you could just type in, again, anything you can think of, and that will just give you, it will return a lot more uh, search results. In step five, you simply click on the generate keywords. Step six, you're going to cherry pick the good ones. So uh, in the example here, one of the first keywords we found was healthy smoothie recipes for weight loss. This is a great keyword, first of all, because it has six words in the phrase. Uh, the next reason it's a great keyword is it has really strong search volume, as well as a very low average keyword competitiveness. So this average keyword competitiveness, it's the last column inside of Longtail Pro, well, Longtail Platinum. That's why I use the Longtail Platinum add-on, is because instead of trying to gauge all the different competition indicators myself, uh, the average keyword competition kind of aggregates that and just puts it into one numerical score. And so I just know by experience that anything under 40, and especially anything around 30 or below, is is a really good keyword as far as uh, low competition or lower competition. It's going to be a lot easier to rank for and get some search traffic for. So this is a great keyword, again, because of the six keywords in one phrase, the uh, search volume around a thousand searches a month, and a keyword competitiveness score, keyword competitiveness score of 30. In step seven, uh, we're going to keep going. Like I said at the first, I, I like to find three or four keywords per piece of content. And you want these to be related, obviously, to what your content's about. But that's pretty obvious. So I like to go down and find things that are even lower competition, even if the mon monthly search volume is only around 100. Because the whole point behind long tail keyword traffic is that it's easier to get rankings for and these really add up over time. So the other example I have here is strawberry smoothie recipes with yogurt. This has around 110 local search, exact local searches per month, and the average keyword competitiveness is only a 25. So this is a really good, uh, this is kind of a textbook example of long tail keyword. It's got five words in the phrase, uh, a very, I mean a decent search volume, search volumes of 100, a lot of people won't even consider those, but those really those add up quickly, because um, again, most people don't target them because they figure they're not worth the time, and you know they're long tail keywords, so they're easier to rank for. So the other big benefit you get with long tail keywords is that your site and your content, the more that they or the more long tail traffic and long tail keywords uh, your site ranks for the more that you'll start ranking for more competitive keyword phrases as well. So that's it for this uh, for this episode. For more videos and training and podcasts like this, you can visit my site at strayblogger.com, and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.